How you doing? I'm Bruce Chard, live from the Florida Keys, and we got a rainy day, so we thought we'd take a second out of our day here to show you how I like to clean up my fly reels after uh, fishing in the salt for the day. So I'll do this about once a week, and I would recommend that uh, you get back from your big trip from Belize or Mexico, or your saltwater fishing trip, that you uh, can look into this method of cleaning your reel. I think it'll help you out a lot. Uh, salt gets into all the cracks and crevices in your reel while you're fishing. So when I get back from a trip, I'll pop the spool open, get a nice hot, uh, hot tap water in a, in a bucket like this, and I'll separate the, the reel and the frame and the spool and separate it and let it sit inside this hot water for about an hour or two and let the hot water break down the saltwater crystals in the reel. Then when I'm done soaking and the water cools off, pull the reel out and I'll put it in a bucket of hot uh, soapy water because the soap is very key to this process. The uh, salt will salt and the dirt will stick to the reel and therefore once you rinse the salt off, the soap rather, the salt will come with it and the dirt and you can't really get all the salt out of the cracks and crevices without having soap. So just simply soaking it in fresh water or rinsing it off in the shower alone is not enough to get all the salt crystals out. You have to have the soap on there, okay? So I'll rub around in the uh, cracks and crevices with a little wash mitt. Uh, it's very important to just use a mild soap like uh, car soap. Try not to use any dish detergent soap that's a little too harsh for uh, the fly lines and the backing. So basically this will help get the uh, salt and everything off the reel. You dunk it back in the regular uh, clean fresh water that you had before. Wash it under the faucet. You take a nice towel and dry it off so you don't get any dry rot on the any of the areas and water spots on your reel. Just dry it off the best you can and then reassemble the reel and you're good to go. You can put it back in the koozie and store it in your closet and you're ready for your next trip. You know that you're salt free and ready to go.